All right, well, thank you, FL Sun, for sending me your brand new T1 Pro Ultra High Speed 3D printing uh, printer. But uh, I don't think you're gonna like this video, and it's not because I don't like your printer. I haven't even opened it yet. But your emails were weird. You had one guy email me, and he, you were just like, hey, you want a printer? And I'm like, absolutely, I would love a printer. No catches, no caveats, no forced borderline commercial promotion or anything like that. Just here's a printer, use it in a video. I was all about it. And then you sent me the printer, and I've had it in my house for like a month. And then you were like, hey, one, did you get the printer? Two, that guy you were talking to got fired or quit or something, but he doesn't work here anymore. And also, now we have a bunch of things we want you to do for your video. And, uh, yeah, no bueno, senor. That's not how we roll around here. We get stuff for free and then we use it. In all seriousness, it, um, I'm a little bit peeved at FL Sun for their strange communication and asking me to let them review my video for a review. Like, if it's a review and if it's honest, why do you want me to send you a video? Uh, like, no. No notes. You're going to get what you get. Thanks for the printer. I'm going to use it. But, uh... Yeah, weird situation, but let's put all that aside and let's approach this with fresh virgin eyes and ears and noses. Angela, get the knife! This is why we need a safety knife. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Like, it tastes like China. <laughs> okay, can I help, honey? No, we don't, we haven't decided if we like them or not, and we just got some. <laughs> so yeah, my, I had a plan for this video, but uh, it was gonna be like, why would you get this printer when Bamboo Lab exists, and then... They pooped the bed this week, so I don't, I don't know. It's a printer, and we're gonna see if it, uh, you know, functions. Wow. It is something we have to assemble. We're gonna be here a while. Damn. All right, so this is fun. I went to uh, pull one of these things out, and I just was like trying to like, get a handhold to feel where I could pull, and I pulled right here, and it immediately bent apart. I hope that's not important. Yeah, remember when I complained about the bamboo? Not, I mean, there's different reasons to complain about it now, but remember when I was complaining about how mildly difficult it was to set up? Yeah, I forgot, I forgot. There's the y-axis, there's the x-axis, and this is uh, officially not a beginner-friendly printer. <laughs> this is my hip right here. There's, Bowie, come here. Come on, dude, get in the printer. <laughs> Don't act, don't put them in the, don't put them in the printer. Get out of it. Come on. Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two labels. Lift you with your back in a jerking, twisting motion. Probably can it by myself. <laughs> Quit bragging. You know what the first thing we should print is? What? We should, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. All right, it's alive. Let's try this sucker out. Let's put them all on there. It's all right, it's just a mystery machine that came from China. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, if I had paid money for this, I'd be stressed out. Yeah, but I didn't. So I'm just like, that's interesting. First impressions, I have some notes. I really wish I had my camera rolling, but I extruded filament and it like shot out of the nozzle and like the fan from the thing blew it onto the window. Um, yeah, this is self-contained. It just it just did that all on its own, and that's a new one for me. It's part of the FL Sun experience. This takes a long time just to start printing if you do all the stuff. Finally. Is it doing? Is it sticking? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Finally. There we go. Printing a new Joy Bio 3D's Hyper PLA, which is designed for printers just like this one. Wowza. <laughs> Maybe we should put this in glass. Uh, yeah, quiet. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. This feels unstable. <laughs> Downstairs neighbors are gonna love us even more. <laughs> hey, FL Sun, have you seen my videos? <laughs> Did you see how I live? I mean, I don't think it's gonna fall over. It's just like so aggressive. Hi. Don't eat my camera, it's more expensive than you are. Oh my god, it's the most beautiful cat I've ever seen. Let's check out the quality. Eh. Yeah, it's fine. And we'll just put him up there. It did it again! It did it again! Every time! Why does it do that? Yeah, I guess that's just kind of what it does. Oh, 
All right, we have been printing stuff for a few days now, and uh, prints have been coming out pretty good. Really, no complaints, nothing to write home about. Just kind of a standard, uh, you know, capable little printer. Well, not little, but you know what I mean. Uh, so the question is, would I recommend that you buy this thing for yourself? And uh, FL Sun, I'm sorry, but no, I would not. Uh, this thing is just a really weird printer. It's very cool. It's very fast. You can print stuff that's, like, way taller than other printers. But it's just so strange, and uh, I don't really know that there's a community to support like being able to fix this if it breaks. There are so many other printers out there that are really tried and true, that have enormous communities. I, I just think the boat has sailed on Delta printers. I just don't think there's really a market for them. Unless they're very specifically what you need. You need something fast, you need something that can print tall things, you need something that can wake up your downstairs neighbors. Like, yeah, if you know that that's what you want, I'll have a link down below and you can get one for yourself, but really, eh, nah, not for me, but hey, I appreciate that I have it and I appreciate that I didn't have to pay for it, so thank you, FL Sun, and, uh, you know, maybe watch my videos before you send me something next time. All right, guys, take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one.